Hey guys, today I wanted to show you some power plants um, which generate power from products you get from bees. So basically uh, honeycomb, uh, seed oil um, and also some other oil, petrol type power come from bees. Um, now the first stuff you can get from bees generally is straight honey. However, uh, for the honey to be uh, used, it needs to be centrifuged from honeycomb, and then it then needs to go to a squeezer, and then the squeezed honey then can go into a biogas engine. But the problem with this is that the energy that you get from one bucket of honey is 10,000 Minecraft joules. Uh, the amount of energy it takes to turn uh, enough honeycomb into a bucket of honey is roughly 10,000 Minecraft joules. So it's not really worth it doing the honey. Um, in fact, you might be losing energy doing so. However, if you breed some bees later on down the track, if you get to uh, rural bees uh, and then farmed bees, or well, actually it should be farm bees and rural bees, you can get what they call seedy comb from them. Now seedy comb can be centrifuged into seed drops as well and once it gets dropped in this and well like I said before gets turned into uh, seed oil and then put into a biogas engine it gives you up about 30,000 so it's a 3 to 1 benefit there so having that way works and the other benefit is that if you squeeze a stack of honey comb, um, honey drops, you get about that much liquid. I think that's about 14 buckets. I'm not too sure. However, this was from from one stack, so roughly double. So you get double the amount. So really, it's about for the effort you get about 60,000 Minecraft jewels, which allows you to run. I think I've got. Uh, 14 biogas engines running directly off uh, the seed oil that I get from the seed comb. And I've got about 6 here running just off honey. Uh, that one will start running soon. The only issue with this system is it goes through seed comb so fast. And you would have to have, to have hundreds of bees most likely to keep up the input needed to supply this power plant with the fuel needed. However, it produces huge amounts of energy. If we go over to here, this is my compact version, well I got one biogas engine running the two machines. Um, it goes a little bit slower because these machines could use up to a maximum of five Minecraft joules a tick each uh, at full speed and because we're running it off just one engine can only do three Minecraft joules a tick then they're going to be slow therefore you don't put so much seed uh, CD comb in there so you can have it that way however it won't generate as much power um, it is generating enough seed oil to run two generators two biogas engines so you could probably put a third on there and as you can from see here it does go at some speed it's alright. Now, if you want to get heaps and heaps of power out of bees, uh, the, best, the bees you're probably going to try and look for are what they call um, oily bees, distilled bees, or refined bees. Refined bees are a bit better. Oily bees, as you can imagine, their honeycomb, or oily comb, gets centrifuged into essentially uh, oily products. And this one, oh, I've got to put some more in there. There we go. Got that. It then gets centrifuged into honey, and I, it also gets. Did I put the right stuff in there? No, I didn't. Fail. <laughs> it's not going to work with that. Petroleum comb. Petroleum comb, that's what it's called. It gets centrifuged into honeycomb and petroleum. Uh, propolis or something, and then that gets squeezed 
into biofuel. So I've got over here combustion engines producing I think about four Minecraft fuels a tick. And they produce quite a bit as well. No, I think that's about it for this one. Um, if you got any questions, uh, comments, um, just put, put them down there. I'll try to get back to you. Um, if you've got any requests, they help. Um, let me know what I should do next. Um, so, like, subscriptions, they'll help me help the channel grow, help me grow, help me become a better person, and stuff like that. Thanks for that, guys. See you next time.